quickly. Jimbo can't eat one. He's got one hollow. He's trying to trade it out. Not quite enough. There are players now in this area. Sib has managed to reinforce and they hold it. Somehow Moki Moki hold it again. They're going into the second ticket, but Sib is alone. There are players now trying to hunt him down, knowing they have to get this choke point back and again before they pour through. Hollow tries to get in the site. He ends up going down. Trade's coming back through again here. Sib absolutely cutting it down here and you know it wow we can actually watch that back there. He gets that shot on Tay. Gets that shot on Jerd. And overall this is just such a nasty tech glitch to just be sitting oh, on the AR. Lost such God. a nasty we're finally being taken down so he was definitely on fire there. They took him down and overall Maki Maki in the side Playing very patiently right here. Sib doing a very good job at cutting that mid map area down. Back and forth we go in the kill feed, and here comes Jimbo. He's gonna set up inside fire, but gets taken down. Hollow with a two piece, and they're gonna have early time. Slippery, slippery Jimbo getting those spawns into the back of ice. Now finally we see some control out of Maki Maki. And we're seeing our subs slay out a little bit like expected. But again, they have a big game of catch up to play, which they could do on these next two hills. But Draza has something to say about it as he flips spawns by coming from street number eight. Naga has to play his life in the back. They want to steal these spawns. He's not able to and gets taken down. And nobody's getting time out of the hill right now. It is a stalemate. Nobody is inside. So that means Maki Maki is still down 20 points. They were able to get spawns soon. That is the beauty of Crossroads. You have to fight over scrap time with how chaotic this opening entry can be. You break in, you got 30 seconds to fight over, but you know Mr. Midmaps are spawning pretty close. Ah, beat down, that's cool. He used to rotate through, and here comes the cavalry from Mr. Midmaps. When he gets cut down, it's Sib still alive, picking up Fellow. Here comes Decimate. Is he going to survive their challenge there? And Sib will pick up the kill. Finally was waiting. Thank you for showing off. 1-0 lead still for Maki Maki, but the tick continues in. They're going to grab B of at this rate. Life advantage to Maki Maki. 22 to 13. They are cutting down everyone from mid-maps. Jimbo and Sib are doing exactly what I said they needed to do. They shut down Draza. Draza's only sitting at 8 and 10 right now, which is still a pretty okay stat line, but look at the rest of mid-maps. You guys can say let's just set up for new. Play for this next couple seconds. Sims finds two. That's exactly what he was hoping for. This is to just get that early setup and get hopefully this full 60 going to this next rotation and further that lead in front of subliners as we now see another lead change going to the side of Fantastic. Come to the control point and Volzotic finds first blood, but Sim is there for the immediate break. Oh! With the early favor for the hard point. Built by gamers, they'll have the opportunity to contest this a little bit sooner than they were prior. Sib on three, looking for four. Good help from Desi and Draza will keep him safe, and it'll mean Fantastic Four will be that much closer to getting over the 200-point mark. They sure will, and just look at the reads, too. They just understand, like, all right, what is BBG looking to do in this exact moment? They want to play for the spawns because they've been really struggling to hold them down, so they turn their attention towards the street. They make sure that no one is pinching, you know, in and around Eski. Player seven backs up and picks that up. Sib still shredding players here on five in a row, six in a row. It's out and starting another reverse sweep here for us, Alan. I'm not gonna lie, if Draza is able to catch that G-slide and find God or X, yep. the trade wasn't gonna be there. The last player for Built by Gamers was hiding in the corner inside basketball, maybe on the regen from the prior gunfight, but that was not a double chow. 237. Wow, man, that was a big play from Sim, and I'm glad we get to see it again. Look at this. I'm pretty sure we find just about every single member, for sure three. Challenges Pander, there's the second. Give him God RX as well as Pentagram. He took down all four players before coming off of that respawn, man. Have crawled their way right back into this, but Des and Zinx are trying to have something to say about it as they clear out the hill for only seven seconds. They can cause that spawn trap here right now as all trash pros are off into the back on the other side of the map. Jabawakis, they can easily win it here, but they have to have a perfect hold. Trash pros, we haven't seen them have a clean break just yet, but after the momentum push that they've been giving themselves, it is easily possible to do so. Oh, when Sib's winning two pieces like that. Nope. Welcome back to the conversation. Everyone dead. You win it here. You got 30 points you need. Make it less than 20. Spaceman can't do math. The Jin Troy throwing some shots out. And Sib will shut him down. Sib on eight. Oh my god. Is it possible? Yeah. I don't think Dav Patty expects to get a whole lot done here by himself, but being a distraction is so important as the plays are unfolding on the opposite side of the map. It took three players to come over here and clear out green. Now let's take a look at what, what's unfolding on B. They've already made it through the second tick. Dropping down to bottom green. Sib shouldn't have won that gunfight. Connects with the second two before being taken down.